Hello, everybody. All right, today I have a very interesting video for you guys. It's on how to carry the early game. And before I start the video, though, I would like to ask something of you guys. Um, only 15% of the people who watch my video or, or videos are subscribed. So if you guys haven't subscribed already, I would highly appreciate it. Also, activate the notification bell because sometimes YouTube doesn't like to recommend my videos to my subs, which would also explain why the subscription number is so low. So yeah, anyways, let's get right into the video. So here's the thing, before the game starts, the first thing you want to do is, um, even in champ select already, you want to assess matchups. What that means is, okay, let's look at this from uh, our perspective. Top lane is our Maokai into enemy Darius. So you want to think about this lane. Can I gank this lane? How does this lane play out? They're both melee, which means they're going to be trading a whole lot. They're going to be fighting a little bit. Um, this is good for me because that means they're both going to be potentially lower HP, which uh, can mean, first of all, it's it's easy to kill him because when he's lower HP, I don't have to do as much damage and it's really risky for him to stay um, to farm and CS and stuff. But that also means that um, the Darius might just go in for a solo kill and try to kill the, the, um, the Maokai and I can be there to help him out and cash in a free kill. Now, mid lane is even better for me, theoretically, because I have LeBlanc, which is really easy, or she makes it really easy to set up ganks. She W's in, then E's the Kassadin, and if the Kassadin doesn't have flash and is pre-6, it's basically a guaranteed free kill. I place my box down, it's 2 seconds of uh, pure CC with, uh, combined with Eve, uh, not Eve, <laughs> combined with LeBlanc. So ganking mid lane is also really, really good. Now bot lane is kind of scary. Um, the, the Thresh was really, really good. I, I knew this guy. He's a really clean Thresh player. So I kind of knew that ganking bot lane is also really good. But in solo queue, this wouldn't be such a safe lane, to be honest, to gank. It could go either way. Obviously, if you help snowball this bot lane, um, you're going to be carrying, I think. But Pantheon can be scary. If your team doesn't follow up, you try to gank Pantheon. He Ws you. He shields the damage that might come in. And then Qs you while Ash gives you like a W and like one or two auto attacks and you're pretty much dead. So somewhat risky. I'd be careful. I'd stick to mid lane and top lane here. Now what you also want to do is try to kind of get into the uh, head of the enemy jungler. Oops. Kind of want to try and predict what the uh, Elise is going to do. Especially in higher elo. This is rather important because you're trying to capitalize off of mistakes. And capitalizing off of uh, the enemy's game plan. Trying to play around that. So... If you look at Elise, what lanes do you guys think that she should play around? I'm gonna give you like one or two seconds. Um, the answer is rather simple, honestly. She has two lanes she can play around. There's top lane, because the Darius can stomp a Maokai fairly easy. And bot lane, because again, bot lane is a really snowbally lane. The, the question might be why not mid lane? Uh, it's rather simple. Kassadin has absolutely no lane or gank setup, which means that uh, LeBlanc is just going to W away as soon as she sees Elise. So there's no real point in ganking that lane. It's not really gankable. So only top lane and bot lane are really gankable here. Now let's get right into this game. Obviously, uh, I pretty much always do the uh, the Wraith start. The uh, yeah, Wraith into Rep into Krug start. And after that clear, it depends. I either look for a level 3 gank top lane, which this game is very, very, very good. It's very likely to happen. Darius only has um, Flash and Ghost. So he doesn't have TP, which means that if we get a kill and we can potentially freeze the lane or even push the lane or shove into uh, to, to crash it, he loses out on a shit ton of XP and a shit ton of gold. So that makes it really, really good if the gank does work out. If it doesn't work out, not too bad. Uh, I can then afterwards look for a potential invade uh, in the into the blue side of Evelyn, uh, not Evelyn, <laughs> to the blue side of Elise, and try to take her jungle, and then look for a repeat gank. Now that only works if Elise starts spot side. So what we have to do is we have to be really, really uh, aware of the situation, which means we have to know where Elise starts which is usually very easy to find out by just looking at which lane comes to lane or which champion comes to lane later than uh, the other lane. And if we do know that, we can start adjust, uh, adjusting our, our game plan. 
So in this game, again, my game plan is to level 3 uh, clear, and then go top lane for a gank. If the gank works out perfect, we either try to freeze or to shove. If the gank doesn't work out, that's fine. I try to look for an invade. Now if Elise does start top side, that means I can go back and go to my bot side, because if I don't, she's going to go from her blue buff from this side of the map to my blue buff, and just gonna take my jungle if I'm not careful enough. Of course, I do probably have lane prior on mid lane. I'm not sure if I have lane prior on, mid, uh, on bot lane, but that's just planning too far ahead. Uh, it could go either way. So let's see how this game goes. I uh, start top side. I place my boxes down. Obviously, if you don't know the setup, then uh, you're missing out on something. It's in my uh, template one shot guide. So if we look at this, right? Bot lane is in lane. Jesus. My bot lane. So that means, you know, since Darius isn't on lane, she started top side. So that's something you have to keep in mind. Now, our game plan that we had, or that I had, doesn't work here anymore. If I level 3 gank, I don't have the chance of taking her jungle anymore. I don't think she's going to take everything. She's probably going to leave the wolves. But going into her jungle just for wolves and then trading my entire bot side is not worth it. So we have to be careful now. So uh, we clear red buff. And then uh, afterwards we clear Krugs. Now bot lane luckily gets a double kill here, which is totally coin flip. This could have gone either way. Could have also gone uh, a double kill for Ash, or could have been a double kill for Pantheon. But this doesn't really impact uh, our plan too much because it's on the opposite side of the map and we don't really care about it much yet. So you should always be checking your lane that you are uh, within range, I guess. So you should be checking mid lane, you should be checking top lane as you clear your camps. Now looking at mid lane, there's just absolutely no way I'm going to gank this guy. LeBlanc is doing a great job of pushing this castle in, because she wants to try and deny as much CS of the castle as she can. It's really hard for castle to farm on the tower. So yeah, she achieved her uh, game plan. Now my game plan is still ganking level 3 top lane, because as you can see, he's still level 1. He's probably going to hit level 2. But we do know he has the minion advantage over Maokai, which means this lane is going to slow, slowly but surely push into into Maokai. So I finish clearing Krugs, and I look top lane. Now again, we have to keep in mind that even if this gank succeeds, you have to be careful because Elise is on the opposite side of the map. Uh, sorry, the opposite side of the map, and she could easily invade my blue buff. Now, okay, let's look at this. So Darius wastes his E, which is really good because the E, if you are too close to Darius, he actually pulls you in and then pu pushes you away a little bit again which makes, um, makes it really easy for him to hit his Q and get a double heal. So now his E is down. So Maokai uses his Q. I put a box fairly deep. Actually, I don't even put my box down. I just know I kill him there. Ignite him so he doesn't heal, obviously. He pops Ghost, and boom. Now, if you look at the wave, as I was saying earlier, uh, I do know that we have the Shof here. Uh, not the Shof here, the, the Freeze here. Because if you don't know basic wave management, this is probably the, uh, the part where you should look it up. But since he has more caster minions than we do, this lane is slowly but surely starting to push into Maokai, which is also why Maokai decides to recall here and just take the freeze for free. Now again, since I already know that Elise started topside and Darius doesn't have TP and he won't TP because he can't, uh, and there's nothing to take here, I have to recall because again, I'm at risk at being invaded into my jungle and losing my bot side if I do something stupid here. Also, top uh, mid lane isn't gankable, and waiting like two minutes until the Darius comes back to lane is not worth it. So the only chance or opportunity, not opportunity, but the only decision I can make here is recalling. Okay, which is what I do. Now, as soon as you're recalling, you should check up on the lanes and see what's going on on the, the side of the map that you're going to play around next. Because there's nothing to take top lane. Um, I wouldn't recommend going top lane. You could wait for the Darius to return to lane and then repeat kill him, but he still has flash. He would lose out on a lot of CS, but I think going bot lane is the safer play here because I don't want to give Elise my entire bot side jungle. So what I do here is obviously I path towards bot side. Always make sure to use Q out of base because it's going to be up by the time you hit your jungle. So as you can see, Elise is in my jungle. She tries to invade, which is also why I ping assistance so that my team knows, okay guys, she's in my jungle. Please, somebody help me out. Now, the good thing is, which Elise didn't pay attention to, and you might say this is just a misplay by her, which it definitely is, 
What I'm trying to say is that those misplays happen even more often in gold elo or even in silver elo or in diamond elo especially, uh, where people <laughs> like to make many mistakes. But yeah, you have to find those mistakes, you have to be aware of those mistakes, and you have to capitalize off of them. If she makes this mistake and you don't punish her, well, you're pretty fucking dumb, let me put it that way. Um, so yeah, I ping for assistance, my bot lane does have prio, as you can see, Ash is completely over here. And my mid laner also has Bryo. She might not have as much mana, but her rotating just with auto attacks is already enough. So this invade is really, really bad. It's not worth it. If she was a little bit faster, it could have worked because I wouldn't have been there. But since she had to take her up at first to hit level three, this this just doesn't work. So as you can see, she, I don't think she saw me there. Doesn't matter too much though. I knew Pantheon is here because he's not in lane. Um, and I, I think I saw him enter, but I'm not sure. So. I just basically wait for my bot lane to appear, and then this is a free fight that we can take. Yeah, so I don't think I have to go over uh, how we play this out. We have four versus two. I don't even lose my blue buff. And at this point, at this point, it's 0 and 5. We're 3 minutes and 30 seconds into the game, and we're already ahead 2k gold. Soon to be more, because I'm going to take some camps. Well, then it's going to take some camps or some CS. But this game is, if you play it out correctly, pretty much over. Uh, what you basically do is you keep pressuring the map. You keep pressuring your lanes. You play around your winning lanes. In this case, uh, bot lane is really far ahead. So playing around bot lane is really benef benef beneficial. Uh, but also playing around mid lane and top lane can work out really well. So here the move would be, I'm going to be honest, it's a little bit troll of me. I could help bot lane to gank, but I was confident that they're, they're going to get her uh, anyways, or at least uh, get her sums, but her flash is done, which I didn't know. The optimal move here would be, though, to gank mid lane, and this is something that I have to still work on sometimes. Uh, in, in some of my games, I don't look at the map enough, or do, don't look at the lanes enough. I see Cassidy on the map, and I see he's pushing the wave, but I didn't know he's this low. And since my LeBlanc didn't have much mana, I didn't think this gank would be something that I could ever pull off. So I'm greedy and I take Shadow Crab, which is not the right move here. The right move would be to instantly gank mid lane. So uh, bot lane sadly trolls a little bit, Thresh dies, but that's still fine. One for one is okay, especially if it's support as a versus AD carry. Kalista now gets the freeze. And here goes my mid lane gank. Should've done this a little bit earlier, would've been quite a bit different. We do end up getting him, yeah? And again, this is a big freeze. Just take the freeze. Kassin is gonna lose so much CS and so much gold from this. I should recall here, which I hopefully do. Actually, I don't. What am I doing? This is a little bit troll. I think I should have recalled here. But instead, I apparently go for the regank. Yeah, LeBlanc pinged me, I think, which is why I wanted to gank her. Because I like to do what my teammates tell me, otherwise they sometimes rage. So now we know that Flash is down, which means a mid lane gank is basically free the next time he comes to lane and overstays. Now looking at bot lane, uh, Elise is here, which means this is a free free gank if I want to. I'm pretty sure we win the 3v3, so I can attempt that. I also see her walking into, into the jungle. She doesn't have her trinket anymore, so if I just Q in here, she's pretty much dead. Another misplay by her, she tries to invade. She does have... Mm, you could argue she has jungle uh, bot lane prior this time, but not really. Yeah, she goes into my jungle for no reason. She might want to go for the dive here, which can work. It's just a little bit risky, honestly. I don't think it's worth it. But yeah, look at this. Free kill. And boom. We're ahead uh, 2.5k gold. Four and, a, four and three quarters into the match. <laughs> so this is a quite a big slump. Now, I look for a bot lane gank here. We do end up getting Ash. I recall. Now the question is, where do I go after recall? Now, I know that Darius doesn't have flash, or top laner pinged it. So, looking at the wave, he's also freezing, which is really good. By the time I get there, I can theoretically clear waves, and then uh, clear Krugs, and then look for a gank, if he doesn't stay. Uh, and if he does stay, I just go top straight away. Midland is also still really gankable. He's only level 4, which means he has no R yet, he doesn't have flash. So I have a shit enough opportunities here. I can also look for an invade, but uh, I need to have lane priority for that one. So yeah, 
we recall. I think we get Tiamat and Boots, and even a Dagger and a Control Ward. Always get Red Trinket, obviously, if you can. So as you can see, my uh, top laner pushed, which is okay. He knew that the uh, Darius recalled. So by the time I clear my Wraiths and my Krugs, I am in a position where I can gank top lane. But since Castle decides to overstep, and this is where looking at the map comes in really handy, because I did look at the map here, and I saw the Castle being uh, a little bit out of position. I wait for my LeBlanc here, I'm pretty sure. Then we just go in and look for a kill. She did ping me like a... I think this is where she pings me like a retard. Is it? No, 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 it's not. I think LeBlanc flashes in, and see? Castle doesn't have anywhere to go. No ult, no flash, he's dead. So now I look at the map again, and I see, okay, so this guy is starting to slowly push into my Maokai. Um, my Maokai is going to be in lane soon. We have a pink ward here. <clears throat> so this gank is somewhat free. As you can see, I start moving top side. I'm not sure where Elise is, but I'm not too worried having a 2v2 on top lane. He isn't level 6 yet, so this is not too big of a problem yet. The 2v2 is still something oops, that we, that we win. As you can see, I go top lane, I Q in. This guy doesn't have flash, I ignite him so he doesn't heal. Because sometimes the Darius can turn around on 1v2 really easily. But uh, yeah, without ult and without the healing, there's no way. So I see a little bit of a clown fiesta going on mid lane, so I try to move there. Um, after taking Scuttlecrab, I think. I, at first I was like, nah, I'm not going to move, because my team is going to win anyways. But then I started uh, seeing them lose, so I try to move there. Uh, we kind of throw the game a little bit here, but I think it's fine. Because now uh, my bot lane comes in, or my AD carry comes in, we clean this up. This, as I said, this fight is a little bit of a, a fiesta. I don't know why. Um, also, my R placement was really awkward here. I don't know how this happened. But my clone appeared on the opposite side of the wall. So, yeah, a little bit awkward. But again, look, we're, we're 4.1k gold ahead. 7 minutes in. This game is really, really one-sided. I'm 6-0, and oh, I can do whatever the fuck I want to. Uh, this game is pretty much over. So, uh... Mission accomplished. See, this is this is what I mean. If you have the right game plan, if you make the right game plan, which is not easy, obviously, but it's something that you learn over time. If you make the right game plan, then uh, yeah, capitalize off of enemy mistakes, start reading the enemies uh, like their their next moves, and you're pretty much good to go. Honestly, it's um, yeah, it's that easy in quotations. So I hope this was a little bit helpful at least. It's about 18 minutes now, which is kind of long, but I think this is very informational, and I think this is uh, the quality content that you guys hopefully enjoy. And if you did enjoy the quality content I uh, offer to you for free, I would highly appreciate a comment for the algorithm and a quick like. And I, that's, I think that's all I can ask for gamers. Then again, if you guys want to watch me lay, uh, not lay, <laughs> play live on Twitch, I do play my uh, Road to Challenger on Twitch at the moment. So if you guys want to watch me play live, or if any questions that you want to uh, have answered, then uh, join my Discord or check out my Twitch. I would highly appreciate that. If not, then that's fine too. But I will see you guys in the next video. As I said, I hope you enjoyed. And peace out, gamers.